So, you have a new standard deck for me? Yes, sir, I do. So, there's a new card in the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set. It's a five-color enchantment called the Kami War. So, I, I thought we'd play that. Wow, it's going to be hard to cast that one. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is here. The hype is real. Uh, so far, this set has been an absolute blast. You missed my 10 new brews last week. Go check that out. My full set reviews on YouTube, so on and so forth. And you may recognize this deck from 10 new brews. This is the only deck that I played that didn't have a winning record, and that's not okay with me because uh, there's something really, really real here. And I think my initial build of the deck was pretty greedy. Um, I was trying too hard to be five colors, when the reality is we can do a little better than that. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. The Kami War. All right, new enchantment from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Five mana, all five colors, six mana actually, five mana of one of each color. And we get a Saga here that's really, really powerful. Um, similar to, to Elspeth Conqueror's Death, but just like much better every step of the way. So comes into play, exiles, anything, that's it. No, no caveats, nothing else. Chapter 2 is to bounce something and they discard. This can be removal for them or value for you. More on that later. Chapter 3 flips into a 6-6 six, six flying trample. Whenever it attacks, you get a card back. It's a huge flying win condition. So this card is everything, ball by itself. Um, you know, Elsa Conqueror's Death was a huge card. Um, similar to this in that it was removal spell, value, and then a win condition. But this is everything else, everything that that could do, but just a, a much better card overall. Hard to cast, obviously, but... It's not going to be too hard to cast this card. Uh, this is actually a really reasonable card to cast, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, we're also playing a Sika. Now, two reasons here. One, the Prismatic Bridge, almost a secondary here. Uh, Prismatic Bridge is, is fine in this deck. Uh, it's not amazing, because our best cards are actually enchantments, but still quite good. It's a reasonable payoff. And a Sika is kind of the core of the deck, though, as the way to play all this stuff. A Sika leads a lineup of cards that can produce mana of any color, allowing us to sort of splash whatever we want in our base Jun deck. So a Sika... Makes any legendary tap for any color. Magda's legendary. Obviously, tapping Magda is great. If you have some way to tap Magda, make treasures, tap for any color. Sentinel, taps for any color. Uh, any keeper treasures, tap for any color. Old Rustine makes tokens, taps for any color. So, we have a ton of ways here in this deck. A ton, a ton, a ton. Just make mana incidentally of any color. So, we have a base Jun deck. Uh, we're splashing for Kami War. Uh, we're splashing for Tamiyo. We're splashing for a couple sideboard cards. And then we're uh, also splashing uh, for a Sika God of a Tree's backside in Prismatic Bridge. So we have an over-the-top mid-range deck here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I missed one, actually. Uh, Binding of the Old Gods, obviously a phenomenal magic card. Uh, Mool Spell and Ramp. But it's also fixing for us because we're playing one of each uh, Forest Duel in Rhinewood Falls and Arctic Tree Lines. So Binding is even better in this deck as a, as a mana fixer, too. So... We get our early game going, get some things in play, a couple of removal spells, of course. And the great part is that um, our big spells are also removal spells. So Binding is just four kill spells. And then Kami War is four kill spells. So even though Kami War is a threat and this is our ramp card, they also just kill things too. So one of the issues you can have with a deck like this is that we have all, you know, pieces and no removal. So this deck has a lot of removal as well. Uh, Seeker's Chariot, obviously it's a good card in this deck. Nothing incredible, but it's legendary. Uh, it's a good card. Kind of cool Tamiyo, copy of tokens. And then Moonvale region is actually awesome in this deck because the, the multicolor text actually matters. Um, usually this is seen in mono red decks or like two color decks, but whenever you cast a spell, you may discard it your hand if you do draw a card for each of that spell's colors. Eh, eh. And then whatever dies deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors on permanence you control. Very easily it could be two or three in this deck, which is very, very good, honestly. If this dies and you bolt something, that's awesome. So Pretty awesome looking, over the top, kind of crazy mid range deck here. Uh, making use of a card that I think is just really, really powerful. So, Cyborg has got some anti control stuff here, uh, Duress and Negate. Uh, some new cards here. Cyborg's kind of a work in progress. We're still working on it. Uh, some mass removal here. Hadeshu consumes all. Seems really good against the sacrifice decks, relying on, you know, blood tokens and so on and so forth. Uh, we got Seismic Wave to uh, be good against like White Weenie and things like that. Shadow's Verdict. Of course, the main deck of Braids are good against vehicles. Uh, then against control decks, Florian seems like a pretty good uh, legend to bring in to kind of get the uh, the beatdowns going as well. So, the deck seems super cool. I'm pretty hyped for this deck, honestly. It just looks crazy. It looks awesome. Bunch of cool new cards. Let's well, jump right into the games. First, we have word from our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. 
We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's jump right into the games here and play some five color enchantments. Hopefully many. Hopefully many. And uh, Urban is pretty good. It's a pretty good hand. Sika, Magda, Innkeeper. Kind of making lacking a, uh, a payoff here. We can do this, though. Dead of the Bugbear and nothing. Sure. We draw a Crucible Defiance. These lands are really, really good in this deck. We're playing some main legends, but... Earn two Synthesizer, and it hits the land. How lucky. Uh, they shock it in. Okay. So, must have like a shock or something here. Question being now, do I want to uh, deploy Magda or just chill for a turn? I think I might just chill for a turn here and play the Innkeeper. We could also go uh, Innkeeper plus Sentinel. Um, need to make sure you have mana for a Seeker next turn as well. Yeah, this is 100% shock. So we're just going to play Innkeeper here. The one we don't care if they kill. We can also hold the Seeker for uh, the Prismatic Bridge as well, so... Maybe we... Uh... No, I'll play Sentinel. Should I play Sentinel? I'm just gonna kill it. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. And they have a shock, and they seem to be itching to use it. So, I'm not giving them a target. Try and play Bridge on turn, uh, on turn, four, turn four here. Honestly, that's possible. Yeah, okay, Bridge is not like the in that insane in the deck, but All right, Chandra's fine. Um, make a red. And now they're going to use Light Up the Night. Sure. Draw a Farce. Yeah, we're going to hold the uh, Seeker here. We're just going to play, uh, play a Magda and Sentinel. And see if we can't uh, play the bridge next turn. We're a little flooded. We're a little flooded. So... Uh... Okay. Magic Missile it is, I guess. Just now we're just playing a Sika proper. <laughs> play a Sika, and we'll play a, uh, I guess a Red Source. And say go. We still have Bridge next turn if we want it. If they don't kill a Sika. But four toughness is a lot, so... I suppose they could, uh, remove some little things. They're going to Voltage Surge. Alright. They, uh, I'm going to land again off the thing. Trigger, that's so good. That's so good. Alright. And then the bug bear. Okay. Uh, 14. Draw binding. Good. Good draw. Good draw. Alright, so... I'm just binding Chandra. Probably take another bug bear hit, but whatever. It's fine. Green. Binding. Ship it. Now, uh, we'll be able to play the bridge in two turns. Another Chandra, sure. Chandra again. Exile top. It's a land. Play land. So, like, a, a big red deck here, kind of. Draw old Rustine. Search for a Barst. We'll get a blue. Um, play old Rustine. Let's see what turns up here. Treasure. Ah, crap. Nope, never mind. It wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. So, we uh, we, we can't play Astika because we have green, red, red, green. But we couldn't have done anything anyway because we have the black land. If I had played... No, nah, there would actually no way to play uh, no way to play the uh, thing here. So, we do have the Crucible on defense, though. So, Crucible Defiance on defense. We could fire it up on offense and just attack Chandra. Which, honestly, like, isn't crazy. Rustine can block pretty well also. I actually kind of like that. I think something we have to use one of our treasures. And we're still good for the bridge next turn. I'm going to do that, I think. This currently costs three. Yeah, so we'll go, you know, red. Channel this. And send y'all in at the Chandra. And now we've got a decent board. Again, it's pretty cool that Asika and Rusty and block so well. 
Play land. Big red. Big red indeed. 13's reasonably healthy. Well, the good news is we're in the tank. We're gonna add a mana. Okay. We're gonna cast Bloodthirsty Adversary. That's not good news. That's not good news. That's gonna kill everything. Uh, double kick, make it a 4 4. Magic Missile and the Shock. Yeah, this is, this is terrible for us. I don't know why they didn't do that sooner. <laughs> Seems really good. So I'm going to do one, two, three. But this does not kill my, my Rustine. Sure, no blocks. Rustine's still alive. Be worse. Look at a creature here. Nope, binding. We'll love to kill that binding. And we got land, obviously. All right, so let's loot right away. Blood this thing away and see if we can't find uh, something useful here. Nope, just a land. All right, I mean... I guess we're casting the bridge here and probably just dying. We're just gonna die to the uh, the light of the night and the the bugbear. Yeah, not the best hand for us. We just really couldn't really find a uh, a top end payoff. Like, guess this, but it doesn't really do much. Just say go. Like they fire up the bugbear. I think we're just dead, honestly. All right, uh, kind of a weird game. Kind of a weird game. So, like, red sort of stuff um, should be, like, fine for us, honestly. We just have, like, a lot of big depthist creatures, a lot of big threats. We need to bring in, um, I mean, they have, like, they didn't have much, they didn't have much by way of aggression. They're more of, like, a big red deck, which is kind of strange. I could bring in, like, Duress against them. Um, Florian's kind of interesting. Our Innkeeper. Innkeeper's fine. I don't know the cut. Our cards just seem good against them. We just kind of, like, had a weird strew lot of lands, honestly. Um, innkeeper is fine. A Braid is, like, maybe she had a Braid. Like, they didn't really have any creatures, honestly, so... It's pretty easy Florians. I'm not gonna bring in any, like, super reactive stuff like Duress or Negate. We'll just try and be proactive. Alright, on the play. Hand's pretty bad. Unfortunately, this is the opposite of last hand. Where last hand was all cheap things and no payoff. This is all payoffs and no cheap things. I mean, we have Valky to play. I'm just gonna keep... Like, we have some big, some big fours, um, I want green, probably green, black, red, start on green, say go, we need double green for, uh, Sika, so, alright, um, alright, it's green, it's black, just play Valky, it's probably gonna die, but whatever, just like, make them use their cards in some way, yeah, it's good. Their hand is... Uh, play with fire, smashing, impulse, land. Play with fire, play with fire, synthesizer. It's literally all shocks. All shocks. Sure. Works for me, honestly. We drew our fourth land at least, so. All shocks it is. They also mise their synthesizer on both sides, too. Uh, Kamano faces whatever. So take one. Sure. Sure. All right, so we'll play uh, a red here and just say go. We have binding rolled up or chariot, and chariot's pretty good against uh, a bunch of shocks. Play synthesizer, and they hit an adversary, which they can play by shocking. It's a three-three haste. They have double shock in hand. We draw sentinel. So I'm somewhat interested in. Uh, Casting Binding, because Cherry can't really block this. I guess they can, honestly. Just, like, try and crew it. Actually, I like that better. Just play, play this. We'll, like, attempt to crew and block, and if they kill it, whatever, we have a second one. So, obviously, Seekers Cherry is pretty good against the card Shock. Um, so, 
There you go. 3 3, which is fine. 2 2, I mean. I guess. Impulse. They reveal magic missile and land. I mean, this person's very aggressive. Very aggressive. Shinariot. Oh my god. Alright, sure. This is fine though, so they're just not getting any value off their synthesizer. So, they just lost the value of the synthesizer. They get it for a bunch, but whatever. We draw another land. Now we can play Chariot and Sentinel. Yeah, sure. So at a pretty healthy uh, 11 here. Our mana base isn't, uh, isn't the best at the moment, but Binding and Sentinel will help that. As far as like drawing our multicolor threats. Bugbear tapped. They have to cast this magic missile or it goes away. Sure. Pretty good spot for us. Wow, they're gonna attack. I mean, so now we block a chariot. They'll trade the the play with fire and the. 3-3 three, three for the Chariot. Which honestly, it's like kind of fine. I kind of want a Binding the 3-3, three, three, though. So, I'm just going to block this thing. Take 3. Sure. So, I got one card left. I do have two uh, Pugbears in play. But, you draw Magda. It's pretty good. Alright. I mean, uh, Binding this. Play Sentinel. And so yeah, you know, we've got both halves of Bugbear blocked, which is good. Yep. Block here, block here. And another land, sure. I mean I we kinda need to draw payoff, honestly. We're at seven. They burn their deck, so like they can like burn us out in theory. Alright, let's play a fire. Number four. Shock tribal. <laughs> Draw the spell, please. Just kill me here. Just kill me. End step crucible. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're I think we're dead now. Uh, now we're at two. And... We draw a common where we can't guess. Oh, Alright, alright, they got us. They got us. Some awkward games. Some awkward games. Alright, let's try that one again. Try that one again. On the draw. Sure. Mulligan. Uh, sure, it's fine. We can keep this. Let's keep this. Um, we're gonna ship Valky. Let's keep our removal spells. We could like it. Actually, you know, let's, let's just ship one of Braid. Obviously, we don't know if Braid's gonna be good or not, so. Haunted Ridge. Sure, that's pretty good. So, now I have Innkeeper and a Sika. I'd like to draw the land here, obviously, but. Soul Ripper. That card's good. That card is good. Alright, Innkeeper it is. Second Valky, not so good, but... Magda. Okay, so that's pretty good. Alright, so fire up Magda on the Sorper. This card's really, really good. Will they sack the treasure? I hope so, because I have a braid. No, they're not going to sack the treasure. You right. draw land? No, of course not. You can't draw land. <sighs> Alright. Um... I 
Guess we're just playing God of the Tree and saying a prayer, I guess, honestly. Hopefully it lives. We'll get it for one. I should that. Yeah, it can't be one. Okay, and we're dead. Not a good, not a good, not a good, uh, not a good draw. I missed land drop against, unfortunately. Yeah, um, that's a pretty good draw. That's a pretty good draw. Let's get the next game. We can upgrade one thing, we can't upgrade all the things in our hand, it's just two, you just have two lands and nothing, so. Try that one again, try that one again. Um, huh. I don't even want to bring anything in, honestly. Tamiyo's like a little sketch if they're going wide. Um. Yeah, like, I mean, we have removal spells. Our braids are pretty good. Killing partners is pretty important. Uh, Shadow's Verdict won't kill the vehicle. Won't kill partners either. Blood Chief Thirst. Bring, like, the seismic waves, maybe. It's good against Magda. Let's shave a bulky also. Let's try this. Try this. Um that's pretty sus, but I'm just gonna keep Appreciate the green source for a Sega. Play them all against twice quickly. Sure. Alright. On green, say go. Need to draw a green source or a one or two drop. Works. Works. Ranger class, just like Jun cards looks like. Uh, okay, I'm pretty happy to block here. Like, go three colors. I don't shock on the deck, yeah. We draw Seek's Chariot. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're pretty close to casting a, a, the I think it's kind of close. Um, let's just attack for one first. Play pathway on uh, on black. It's just chariot here over Moonvale, I think. and Painter. Come with the 4-4. Four four. So am I interested in trading Chariot for this 4-4? Four four? I think I kind of am. Chariot's not like great in our deck, you know, it's just fine. So, playing 4 mana to kill their thing and get some 2 is pretty good for us. We like that. And we'll draw another Chariot. Sure, why not? Right? Why not? Um, I suppose the one downside was that I could use Chariot to cast the Rainbow Bridge last turn. But now I can just do that again. So, sure. Play land. Chariot. And, uh, I guess we're just getting in. Works.
A guild span dragon. Five five no less. Six six no less. That's a boomer. We have four bindings and four uh whatever it's called to kill it, so. Simply a bop. Draw another land. Alright, so um let's fire up the chariot. And let's just jam and then cast the bridge post combat. For Shared Legendary, so it has the Vigilance and the ability to tap for mana, which is great. That's a lot of damage. Just taking it casually, no problem, you know? I play land, play bridge. We have our seismic wave up, which may or may not do something here, but I think they're just dead on board, honestly. Like that gold spy dragon's big at all, but it ain't that big. Play the partners. I mean, uh, oh crap, they use, they use treasures. That's not good. Uh, if I kill the painter in response, I. I don't know if that works, honestly. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, okay. So, still a big bot from the dragon, but they're just dead on board, right? They get it for nine here, but we can just swing back for a bajillion. We also have the uh, the Breton Metal Prismatic Bridge in the Bell region, so, like, if this dies, we should, we should nug him for five. Spider Queen. That was unexpected. Okay. Just John cards. We get a Magda. We get a Rustine. Alright. Let's play Moonvale. Tap for black. Play Rustine. Draw two. Another Magda. Okay. No land. Get a treasure. Um, sending in chariot here is pretty appealing. Obviously, we have, a, we have a block for the gold spam, which is pretty important. We have blockers for these spiders. They're at six. We can always play a second mod as an extra blocker. Sending in the two twos. I guess just force. I mean, the, one of them partners will block one of them. Partners blocks this one. I think all those they block. They're just dead, right? I oh, just dead. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. They're not dead. I can't do math. Whatever. All their stuff is dead. That's the important part. So. They get two, some stuff dies. They get some counters. We play a new Magda. Um, we can tap the chariot, because the chariot's not going to be uh, doing anything or being crude either. So, play this. Draw. A braid. Great draw. Keep this one. And I can braid the partners. That's such a good draw. That's such a good draw. Moonbell's good in this deck. Who else good in this deck? Make some more spiders. I return to the yada abyss. yada yada. Oh, I'm gonna kill this thing. Response. See, it triggers the beginning of combat, so I need to kill it before it goes combat. So. Draw some more cards. Do what I demand. And again, like, we just block with Moonvale and deal five damage because of bridge, so. Doesn't have trample.
Upstairs. That's sweet. That was sweet. Alright, let's go. Um, dragons are kind of a pain, honestly. But it's fine, I guess. We The size of waves didn't seem very good that game. They seemed to be more mod to eat the previous game. And I really they were not that game. Um, it is an instant speed way to kill partners and it is fine against Magda also. I guess we'll keep him in. Like if we can kill something and then kill a Magda also or something like that, that's pretty good. I don't know what else I would want, honestly. Like none of these cards are particularly exciting against them, so Alright. Um not a great hand, but we have a Magda and double of raid, so we're gonna keep. Right, we draw a forest, so we can play Magda. We play that one here. Draw another red green land. Pretty unlucky to draw three red, three of our red green duels, but sure. Play Magda. So there you go. Let's see what this painter turns up. We have Devil of Raid. Ah, yes, the old turn three chariot. Alright, so no blocks. Need some colors here. That's a color. So, we can send in the Outlaw, if they go to Crew and block, we can just abrade it. It's actually pretty good for us. So let's do that. And if they just, just, just trade with the 2-2, it's also great, so. Store pressure for later. And obviously they crew this now the, uh, now the Magda lives. Cool, so we can attack again next turn and make more mana, which is awesome, so we like that, we like that. Valky, God of Lies. I mean, we just have a braid in our hand, so whatever, sure. Take the Moonveil. Sure. I mean next turn we next turn just rusty and bust a braid, which is great, so. Rusting plays good defense. Here come the clowns. We go to fourteen. And we draw another land. That's okay. Make it red. Play. I guess we like we're pretty happy to trade Magda for Valky. Let's just act first. Want to bank these treasures up for sure. So here goes Magda. Sure. Totally fine. Totally fine. Um. And now we just play Rusty and leave up, leave up the Abrade. No creature, get a blocker, awesome. And say go. So the Abrade up if we want it. If not, we can go land, Moonveil, Abrade, draw. There's a gold span dragon. That's pretty good. Pretty aggro attack. We draw binding or like Kami Ward, something cool, please. No land, draw land. No, of course not. Oh man. Alright, play Moonveil. And uh, we have Braid also, but we'll just say go here. Pretty landy, pretty landy. A lot of lands. Trading Moonveil for uh, Goldspan isn't the worst. We'll get a good trigger off it also. Play 
play Florian. This is off of the treasures, so it'll be a 5-5 five, five first strike. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, I think I need to save the Abrade for a creature land, though, honestly. This is fine. We probably just have to, like, discard our hand and draw a card here, because we just have all lands in our hand. Here comes the bugbear. Just kidding, it's dead. Wait, what? Why did it give me priority? You oh my god, come on. That's so annoying. I must have misclicked, I guess. Um Awesome. Awesome. Alright. Guard our hand and draw. It's a land. I don't feel too good. Deal two to the two two. I mean, we draw a binding or a Kami War here. We're in insanely good shape. Insanely good shape. Ah, it's Sam. Yes, yeah, they still have the Screecher Land, but pretty good shape. Alright, mill over a Monga, get a token. Oh my god, there it is, thank you. Where you been all my life, huh? Where you been all my life? Kami War. Goodbye, Florian. Say, yeah. You got the blocker for the menace land. Doesn't really help that much, I guess, but better than taking damage, so. Alright. Ship it. And they're going to besiege you, my thing. Okay. I'll search for a land. They draw a Blazing Sky. That's pretty good. We mill a Chariot and draw another Kami Ward. Now, now we're starting to turn around a little bit here, you know? Things weren't, weren't going so hot, and now things are going great. Say go. Now our mana's perfect. We draw Moonvale. They are, they're drawing heaters too. That's fine. We'll allow it. We mill Moonvale. We draw Sentinels. Not so good, but now we're going to bounce... I guess Moonville, I'll just bounce it and discard it, right? Yep, sure. So goodbye there. Hello here. Oh, I have blood. I should have blooded that. Uh, that's okay. It blocks Goldsman up the top, which is pretty good, I guess. So it might be safer just to do it like this. Next turn, we have our 6 6. Uh, what? <laughs> They're playing Shadows Verge in their deck? You say so. All right, we have our dragon now, and now we have the uh, the bridge also. So say go with the bridge and made manifest in play. They do a menace. So they get it for Bop here. I mean, next turn we get a card of the bridge, a card of our draw of a blood, and the uh, the dragon here can return. It returns a card of their choice. So, the choices are pretty good for us. Get a Sentinel. Of course, why not a Sentinel? Uh, Alright, let's attack with the uh, the Dragon. Right? This will get back. So, they return a non-land card. They have to return a Moonveil, a Chariot, or a Braid. Which are all really good choices for us. Get the braid back. That's great. That kills the high of the ice iron, right? Cool. Alright, just say go. I mean, we have 
Oh, so you are binding. If they draw a gold span dragon, we still have a blocker too, so. Sentinel doing a little extra duty here on the uh, sneaky reach. Seek his chariot off the top. Okay. Pretty good drop, but we have binding. Now I have binding target, which is great, so. One tap. Top guard. Prismatic bridge for something good. Something good. Old Rustine, all right. Rustine on mill. Rustine will mill. Come on, opponent. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah. All right. It's mill landing treasure. We draw an innkeeper. That's a pretty good draw, actually, because uh, we can get some life off of it in theory. We're gonna cast binding the old gods. Let's just blood this innkeeper, actually. Let's just start there. I'm trying to land for sure, but. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, so what's, what's in the uh, made manifest? It'll give, give us a card back. Give us back Innkeeper, Moonveil, Chariot, or a Braid. Sure, great. So the card we just card we got back. Then you go to two. Innkeeper. Sentinel. Gain of Life. Binding. For me, it's still a braid up. Shadows of Earth here wouldn't kill my uh, my Kami War, so still the bridge in play. They're gonna abandon Meyer to mill three and return a creature. It's just like Jund bombs. All right, they return the gold span dragon, but they are dead. So. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Rocking and rolling. We have more five color enchantments to play. I mean, we can't not keep this end. Obviously, it's all lands. So we have our, our perfect one and our perfect two. You got to keep it. Sorry. Just got to do it. Got to do it. Sentinel go. Mog to go. And just got to draw Boomer. Sentinel Mog to the play is very, very good. So, obviously, we drew a land, but... Um, we're gonna play uh, play a red here. Play Magda. I'd rather a treasure than one damage. We say go. Draw some spells. A naturalist. This card's sweet. This card's really, really good. All right. Well, um, we only draw spells. Obviously, so obviously we have like you know some spell lands, creature lands, and stuff too. A braid. Um. Okay. I think I like just killing this now. We could like wait for them to enchant it, wait them for wait for them to enchant it or something, but I'm just kill it now. It's gotta die one way or another. Don't, don't make your spells cheaper. Now we're banked up. So now we have two treasures in blade, and we can cast actual anything. Seiju, restoration of uh, Agani or whatever it is. And I can get back this. Sure, I'm gonna draw binding. All right, I'll take that. I'll take a binding here. Oh, I think get back there, naturalist, and then get a creature as well. So yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good saga. Pretty good saga. Kill that attack. Like a draw one of our eight five color enchantments. We're almost there on Magda uh, making a dragon too, which is pretty sick. Wedding announcement. All right, well, that 
pumps the brakes on the uh, mod. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Alrighty then. Good draws, Jim. Good draws, Jim. I'll take a blue. And uh, let's play land. Some variety, it doesn't really matter what. Whatever. Make a black land, sure. Now we're going to cast Kami War. Does cost us one of our treasures, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, let's rock and roll. You think you're playing enchantments? We're playing enchantments. Hollow it onto Yeah, whatever. Whatever. This Kami War is going to bounce and make them discard. We can bounce our own binding, kill the hollow hunting, which is awesome. Kami can bounce your own stuff too, which is great. They play Seed the Castle, draw land. We're a little flooded, but. So we're going to return our uh, our binding. They discard a card. And we're going to binding the hunting. Oddly enough, casting binding over and over and over and over again is a good thing. They discard a card, too. They discard a Katilda. The card's good. The card's good, obviously. Um, yeah, let's just ship it. I'm just going to play uh, land. Play binding. Hit this thing. And uh, We're in a rush to attack or anything like that. We're just going to make out a treasure. Next turn, we can have a, uh, a dragon off our treasures, which is, which is great. Restoration again, sure. Okay. And they're going to besage you my uh, Kami War, which is like, I mean, they killed my dragon, but I already got three cards of value off of it, so sure, whatever. Fish out my uh, my white land, now my mana is perfect. Sure. And we're going to, so we just want to draw any spell. A five color spell would be ideal, so we'll draw five cards next turn with our dragon, but... I think any spell is fine. I mean, second Magda isn't exactly good, but I think we're actually going to play it regardless. Um, off our dragon. So we're going to tap this for mana. And then we're going to play land. Use Magda ability. Sack five treasures, get a dragon. I can get Chariot too, actually. Um... I think dragon is better though. Yeah, dragon is better. Dragon, cast Magda. Draw off our dragon. Draw forest, tilt. Alright, so, I mean, I would like to draw some spells. But I think we're in pretty good shape. Not sure what's up here. They're going to discard a Rune of Might. And return the Naturalist. Again, they can't kill this. Literally any spell we draw is good. But you need to not draw land. Rising Dawn, sure. So they have a 4 4 Flying Lifelink, which is good. It's good. And a. Oh, oh that card's good too. Nine power flying lifelink. That's kind of scary, actually. All right, so now I kind of need to draw a spell. That's a spell. That's a spell. Oh my god. Uh, we're doing it, folks. Kami War. Draw five. I don't know what I'm hitting here, honestly. This thing may become a three four. It's pretty good. This thing is going to pump and become a big creature. We can hit the token. Actually, I, I can just bounce the token next turn. Uh, so that's good value. So let's just, like... This is a ground creature. I'm gonna kill the, uh, the Reign of Truth. It's a big pump next turn, and then a, a big creature later, so hit this. Okay, like, we have, like, other cards in our hand, too, I guess, so... Um, I can cast... A lot of stuff here. We can, we cast God of a Tree... We can then cast, we can play God, and tap for one, two, 
three, four. Yeah, that works too. Let's play, play this. Uh, not this time. And then we're gonna make a black. And then make a black. Cast binding the old gods. The binding's gonna hit. I guess just this thing. Cause again, we're gonna bounce token next turn anyway, so. Oh, I tapped the uh the blocker. Oops, that was stupid. I wanted to have Sentinel to block this, that was wrong. I'll just block with this if I have to, like, whatever. Uh I don't want to get cheesed out by some like big pump spell or whatever, so we'll just say go. Like even the moon veil dies, even though we're in our hand. And moon veil dies, we do a five to something, which is pretty insane too, so. Yeah, Move is really good in this deck. I think two is not enough. I think two is not enough. Might even just be one chariot, honestly. Alright, so play Matilda. Attack for five. This is fine. This is another restoration, sure. Go six. Untap and we could also bounce binding. Now we should bounce token here. Bounce token. I guess they have a whatever. Any cards there anyway. Still fine. Exile that. Uh, and now we can, like, start emptying our hand, just playing everything. We play this. I mean, we want to draw five off this thing. We'll play Rustine first, I guess. Decline. Play the. <laughs> and I put a bridge. This time we'll draw five. Had a lot of lands, honestly. Maybe I should have kept the uh, put, put, put the dragon too. We um we can blood something. Blood one of these lands. Discard a land and draw. Valky. Uh one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, if we want it. Valky, exile this. That's pretty good. All right, cool. So we go black, red, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this, 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 it's five. I don't even need to tap this thing. That's great. Seven. Tibbles. And then we're not going to discard our hand. We are going to exile uh, Katilda. Hello. I have cosmic aspirations. This is a, a shellacking, as they say in the business. Um, attack for four and Sigio. It's a pretty good board. It's a pretty good board. Just saying. Just saying. Got a blocker to clear through everything if we need to. Discard Ranger class. Return the Rune of Might. That's scary. Spirit Bandage. If they draw the... Uh, the all the thunders are gonna actually die here. Announcement. Alright, they didn't. Um I did not consider a trample being a thing. I thought we had a good chump blocker. Woo, that was actually kinda close. Probably could have played a little more defensively last turn, but trigger all the stuff, get a peek, get an innkeeper. Innkeeper's great here, it's just uh more life, so flip this, comes back, gain a life. Death touch. Another binding, I mean like plus Tybalt. Land Reign of Truth. It's cute. Uh you just like play Catilda also. Um let's binding and kill the naturalist, because there's trample. Discard my hand? I think so. Honestly. Discard those lands, draw some other cards. Tamio. So now I actually want to leave a naturalist tapped and I'll kill something else. Let's kill like maybe the announcement. 
don't think it freaking matters, honestly. Uh, whatever. Kill this. Play Tamio. Uh, draw two, sure. A braid, awesome. Opponents like still playing this game too, which I kind of appreciate because it's especially really fun for me. I'm having a great time. Having a great time. Decline. Um, we have a braid up. Our legends of vigilance. I mean, like, yeah, whatever. Sure, attack. Yeah. All right. I I guess you're up. This is this enough? Is it enough stuff? No? Companion? Sure. Just gonna keep on playing. I like that. I like that. Tenacious. Tenacious. Sweet. So we actually like left ourselves exposed there a little bit, but that worked out pretty well, obviously. So um What do we want here? They have uh, a lot of enchantments. Obviously, our bindings and our Kami Wars are really good against that. We have a braid for some early removal. Um, they didn't show like a ton of two drops. So, like Blood Chief Thirst doesn't seem super great. Negate actually seems kind of nice against them. Um, Tamio is kind of cool too. I don't even want to cut though. You know, like maybe like the chariots aren't great against them. You don't really need to like put crap in play like that. Um, and yeah, the negates do seem pretty good against them. To counter all their big enchantments. Let's try this. Um, I don't think I want Shadow's Verdict. Verdict's awkward it kills a lot of our stuff too, so. I mean, it's kind of a weird hand, but I guess. Like, negate should be good. Deeper, sure. Now we now we have, we have all the mana we need for our, uh, our stuff. Naturalist is pretty good. Good turn two. Good turn two. We have Valky. Valky's probably not gonna hit. So I think it's just Innkeeper. Yeah. Make treasure, say go. We have negate available. I mean, we turn five Kami War just off the innkeeper treasure, so. Companion, pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely, this card's just insanely good. Just super, super good. Alright. Nothing else here, and I'm super happy because our negate looks really good. Alright, that's phenomenal. Tap land, go. With the up. I'm ready for it. Whatever it is, I'm ready for it. Honestly, the block here is a little tempting. Like, this is gonna gain that much life. Just like lower their enchantment cap. I'm gonna block. And Gaber's like fine, our deck. You know, he's kind of looks like a mana fixer. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here. Get out of here. Play whatever colors I want to play. That was a good draw. Um, ship it. If it dies, whatever. We're playing Comedy War next turn anyway. And if it lives, awesome. We can draw five next turn. At the cost of the cards in our hand. So we'll just we'll see what we draw. But Borrowed time, sure. Now our Comedy War is even better. Katilda. That's awesome. We're going to drag him back. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we have blue, red, green, black. So any color works here. Just play this on black, I guess. Kiami War. I'll take this. Thank you very much. I'll get my dragon back. Thank you very much. Your turn.
You shark. I mean, cool card and all. Get two lands, make a land drop. Kind of weird card. Not an enchantment, obviously. Um, can't pay life for a second. They're going to versage you my enchantment again. Sure, whatever. I mean, like, did its job. You know? Now you have Blood Eye of Valky next turn, so great. Uh, discard our hand and draw two. I think we want to draw two here, so let's play this on red. Play a Valky. Now, the bad news is that if they, if they O-ring this and I kill it, it comes back as a Tybalt, I think, right? So, discard our hand. Draw two. We draw Kami War land. Awesome. And then, I think we just plus. So, our blocks are pretty good anyway. Um, to guarantee our cards. Magda Snakeskin Veil. Sure. And now, if I swing all at Tybalt, uh, we can block and defend it. And if we trade here, we can deal two to this thing and kill it, which is awesome, so... Yeah, Moonbell's really good in this deck. Um, this card's usually just played as like a... It might as well just be like, if you cast a spell, discard your, discard your hand, then draw a card. And then when it dies, you know, deal one damage maybe. But So they're going to fire up the Lair of Hydra and send everything at Tibskis. Uh, which is honestly pretty good for us. Like, Tibble already drew two cards. We should eat one thing here and just like play Kami War again and kind of kill all their stuff. So this is fine. We'll eat the Naturalist. Right? Yeah, no way to say Tybalt here, so this is fine. We untap and Kami War Katilda, probably. Draw five cards again, pretty awesome. Kami War better than uh, Prismatic Bridge, but like a lot, so... This is pretty good, yeah, play this. I think I want this in play. I don't want to save one mana for Snakeskin Veil, so... Play this, draw five. We're gonna exile. It is, it is Kilda, right? Katilda, because it's exiled it. It exiles it. Yeah, I think so. Here's all this. Just bop. I'll leave, I'll leave the station mail up. You fire up a monstrous layer of the Hydra. That's a bop, actually. That is a pretty big bop. Sure. That's fine. Unzap. And uh, we're going to bounce their Yasharn. They discard a card. We just drew Valky, which is awesome. Uh, let's play the old Cosmic Imposter. No draws. We're going to plus. Binding Weaver of Harmony. We're going to play a Sentinel. And uh, now we can attack because we have the, uh, the Sentinel on defense and a Snakeskin Veil. They can't give stuff Trample, I don't think. So. Say go. Sweet. Sweet match. We drew five off Moonbell well, like four times that match. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right. That was sweet. Uh, we got something going here for sure. Um, I think there's still some more iterating to do. Uh, but the fact is that Kami Wars are a really real card. This card's awesome. Uh, extremely powerful. Not that hard to cast. Um, really is like an all-in-one just like, you know, removal spell, card advantage, win condition, Really, really good. Binding's still great. Uh, the Legends are fine in this deck. You know, Magda, Sika, Old Rustine. And then Moonvale really, really impressed me. Um, I kind of put in a little, little bit of a whim because I want to have a dragon for Magda's ability when you're flooded on treasures. And uh, at first I had the Black Dragon. Want to try out Moonvale. Moonvale was insane. I didn't really, like, properly process the multicolor aspect of this card. Uh, we drew five cards of us like ten times or whatever. Maybe not ten times. But, you know, so I think Moonvale's got to be a, a three or four of going forward. Bug it down to like one chariot. Tamiyo's kind of whatever too. It's kind of, kind of like, eh. it's kind of, kind of Tamiyo's kind of good with chariot, but whatever. I don't know, you need that aspect. Probably cut, cut Tamiyo chariot for two moon veils right off the bat. And then otherwise, the deck just seems super sweet. You can play a pretty good early game. Uh, you're playing a lot of big boomers, a lot of powerful cards. And of course, Cyborg can handle, you know, the control decks and things like that too. Cyborg needs to work for sure. I'm not sure about a lot of these cards. Uh, 
And honestly, I just didn't want to cut much during cyborging anyway. So maybe some sort of like some sort of juke or transformational shift could be the way to go. But um, we're brewing new standard. We're having a great freaking time. Again, you missed 10 new brews. Go check out the article on coolstuffinc.com. Go check out my videos on YouTube. I'm having a blast at this set. I hope you are too. So I'm Jim Davis from coolstuffinc.com. Order all your cards from coolstuffinc.com. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. And a free Jim Davis Goblin token. Let's keep going. This is going to be great. we got Bronze Mythic coming up. More articles, more free content at coolstuffinc.com. Let's rock and roll. Cat Cow is here. I'm pumped. You should be too. Have a good one, folks.